Hi guys, I hope all is well. And then on today's video, I'm gonna be updating you on Nasdaq and USDT, and then I'll be adding on with uh German DT. So I'll start with Nasdaq, and then on Nasdaq, some of you haven't been watching like my videos, just know that uh we we have been looking for selling opportunities and then on Nasdaq. Looking at it on the weekly time frame, we have this overall descending channel around this area here. A downtrend. A downtrend and then as you can see we broke structure around this area very impulsively so i'll just put them like this instead of putting them like this but let me just put them like this just because already the market has reacted to this point here so it's okay to put them like that and then we have this overall descending channel just like this and then as you know in the previous videos i said that we have two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom which means this is not a complete pattern just because a complete pattern has to have a first touch a second touch and then a third touch and then you look for those buying opportunities and then in line with the market structure and then by saying that i mean that you must have like a mass psychology activation let's say you get like a third touch around this point and then you get that mass psychology activation then we get those reversals to the upside just because the overall trend was to the downside so whenever we look for those buying opportunities it's a reversal to the upside so uh, let's look at the daily chart and then on the daily uh, that is where we got that mass psychology activation in a form of a double top around this area we got the double top and then around this point here that is where we got that mass psychology activation around here just because people will be thinking that we got this break and then it's a retest to push back to the upside of which it's not it's just uh the way the market is moving and then we have this expanding pattern around this area and then even though we are targeting to get like the third touch to complete this overall uh, descending channel, we can initially target the first touch, second touch, and then the third touch around here. That is how we can just go through this uh, trade. And then let me just expand this trend line around like this. So now we have this overall market structure and then we can just anticipate to get like the third touch from here instead of this one and then if it goes to the downside then it's still okay so looking at the four hour chart i'll just remove that mass psychology activation that we had and then i'll just focus on the current market structure of which is here we also have this nice ascending channel like this and then let me make sure that i'm catering for the right angle so we have this ascending channel at the top of the structure in the right areas and then we are targeting the third touch around this point here, around this area here. And then on the hour chart, that is where we get like our entries. And then for our entries, we had like a few uh, entries. So this is a choppy price action. That is where you could have taken a trade here in a form of a risk entry. As I said, a risk entry, you just wait for a retracement candle. And then after the retracement candle closes, that is where you look for those selling opportunities. But on this one, the stop loss could have been a bit larger. And then you can move to the 15 minute time frame and see if you don't get like uh, a tighter stop instead of a larger stop than that one. So as you can see on the 15 minute, we got like a full retracement candle around this area here, whereby you can take your sell around this point here. And then your stop loss is just above this area. And then as you can see, we also have some type of an ascending channel around here at the top of the structure which will give you like more confirmation for you to take the entry and then another entry that i like to take is whereby you place a sell stop just below and then your stop loss is just above that means you take the trade on the break of the structure so <clears throat> so you're targeting the lower time frames as you know uh the lowest low of this movement and then back to the hour chart that is where we are going to refine each and everything. So this is a pattern on its own. If we pattern separate everything, this is a pattern on its own. And then this is another pattern on its own around here. 
And then as you can see, we got that mass psychology activation and then we got the second entry at the top of the structure. So just like this, and then if we put that array line here, we have the double top mass psychology activation around this area here, of which if you look at this uh, ascending channel, we have the first touch near miss here in form of a second touch, and then we have the third touch here, of which that's where you take the entry just because it's in line with the overall market structure. As you can see here, we had some corrective movement, and then we had the small retracement candle around this point here of which it's here this is the retracement candle that i'm talking about and then after it closes you place your cell and then you can just put like your stop loss just above this area and then you are protected by the larger time frame trend and then you are targeting the first touch always on the third touch and then the first target always on the third touch and then the second target on the 90 percent of which it was about 16 six percent and then we are targeting the lows of which is this one here the the overall 90 percent of this ascending channel here and then also the third touch of the expanding pattern around here for 22 percent and then at the lows just because we are looking forward to getting like a complete pattern of which we get the third touch of the overall outer structures so of which that will be at around 50 percent so for more entries around this area here, we can have like a few entries on this trade at the top of the structure just because we already broke this area here. As you can see here, we broke this 90%. And then after breaking the 90%, what we can have is a new tight flag around this area here. A tight flag just below this area here. And then we can place our cell just below here then our stop loss can be just above this area and then we are still targeting the same targets that we had in mind for this overall uh, first trade here. So we are targeting the third touch in form of the 90% and then the overall movement of which is around this overall third touch here for 23%, 24%. So this trade is still okay. And then this is a trade that you can take uh, if it forms up very nicely, if it forms up as we are anticipating at the moment. So this is a trade that you can take for a tie flag around this area here. Let me just do my forecast very nicely here. A flat flag, just like this. And then let me just use the trend lines like this. And then as you know, you place your sell stop. It's not a market execution, but a sell stop, just a few pips below. And then your stop loss is just above. And then you are targeting the overall lows around here. First target at around 9%. So let's look at USDT. So on USDT, same thing as NASDAQ. We were looking for those uh, nice selling opportunities at the top of the structure, just because we had this first mass psychology activation around here and then the second uh, area that we uh look we were looking at was this one here of which is also a value area just because the market can just push back to the upside create that mass psychology before pushing back to the downside just because we have another area whereby the market has to tap of which is this one here and then we have this overall ascending channel around here but there's no need for me to look at this price action around here we are just going to be focusing on this one here just because this can be an overall push to the upside this can be the corrective move to clearly push to the upside and then we have this area here as our overall target so this can be a short-term sell whereby we sell up to here and then we push back to the upside up to here so let's analyze this area and then let me just remove a few of those uh, structures that i have drawn and then on the daily chart, we have the mass psychology activation, as I said on the previous video. And then we have to pattern separate each and every pattern here so that we can have like a clear view of where the market is going. So we have first ascending channel on its own here. And then on the lower time frame, that is where I refined this area here, whereby we got this as a pattern on its own and this one as a pattern on its own also. So on the four hour chart, 
this is where we had like a few patterns that we had to separate. The second one is this one here. And we have the third one of which is this one here, the current market structure, this one here. And on the previous video, I think I was using like support and resistance. And then I told you that if we break structure and then we get like some type of a confirmation, I don't remember quite clearly. I think it was around here at the top of the structure. Then we can look for that break retest and then we look to sell off. So since I'm using like the Falcon strategy at the moment, you can just wait for this push to the downside. It's already completed. That's the first step. And then we can wait for a first tight flag around here since we didn't get like anyone our tight flag uh, during this movement to the downside. So we can expect uh, a first tight flag of which it's a flat flag, a flat consolidation or like this. A flat consolidation, you can just wait six to eight hours for it to complete. And then after the sixth hour, you can just uh, place your sell stop just below the entry, a few pips below. And then your stop loss is just above the area. And then you are targeting this as your first target, just because if we put this, these two patterns here together, then it will be one pattern. So you can just target this area here as your first target for. 1.27% and then the overall movement at around 8% of which is still okay. And then I'm on the four hour, switching to an hour chart. Let's check the hour just because I was looking at a one hour tight flag. And then it seems like we got like a one hour tight flag just because around this area, we had this push to the downside. And then this is the first tight flag here. And then it clearly pushed to the downside. So it's still okay for you to look for a larger flag around this point or initially a tight flag first. And then if the tight flag evolves to another larger flag, then you can take the larger flag. So what I mean by that is that we can get like a first tight flag just like this. And then you take the tight flag at the lows and then you get tagged in and then you get tagged out and then the market will just evolve into a larger flag and then that is when you can take the third touch as your risk entry just because we are currently approaching the red zone of this area here so we can initially have a larger flag and then your cell is just above this point and then your stop loss is just at the top of the structure and then you are targeting the lows and then previously the first entry was at around nine percent and then for the risk entry on this one it's at around 27 percent of which is cool and then for the second entry if we don't get like the larger flag we can just wait for that push to the downside same as nasdaq and then we wait for the first tight flag just below after breaking the slow point here then you take the sell and then your sell would be like this in a picture perfect scenario the stop loss is just above your limit is just below, your pending order is just below a few pips, and then you are targeting the lows for around 11%, of which is still okay. You don't need to be first in the markets for you to bank uh, some nice profits. Looking at German 30 on the weekly chart. Since we haven't been looking at German 30, this would be a first uh, insight or a first outlook on German 30. So we have this high here, and then we have this highest high here. And then we had this low point here of which it was that mass psychology activation. As you can see, we have a clear impulsive move and then the market started to correct at the top of the structure of which it can just correct up until it reaches this point here or the other point at the top of the structure. But initially we are looking for those selling opportunities. So let's look at the hour chart since we have our point of values. So I'll just uh, keep these ones at the top. So on the daily chart, we have this nice ascending channel, just like this. And then as you can see at the top of the structure, we are currently correcting. And then on the lower time frame, you'll see this area here as an head and shoulders pattern, just like this. And then we look for those cells. So we are just uh, making a clear picture for us to take a 
nice shape. So I'll just cater for the current market structure. Just try to get like a nice angle in the market. Just because this one here, it's not nice. As you can see, it's squeezing up. It's still okay. But as you can see, the momentum is starting to slow down and then it's squeezing up of which it's not, um, it's not okay for the market to move like that. So I'll just move this gray line just like this and then put it in a nice fashion. So this is the area and then we have the 90%. And then also, as you can see, I'm catering for the current market structure just because this is the first touch. This is the second touch. This is the first touch. This is the second touch. And then we have the third touch at the top of the structure. So we are still uh, intact. And then we are still looking for those buying opportunities. And then as you can see here, we have the push up and then we have the corrective move. We have the push up and then we expect the corrective move, even though the corrective move can be that one that pushes to the downside to complete the overall 90%. That's still okay. We are just anticipating for that corrective move to clearly push to the downside. And then we get that uh, third touch of which it's around this area here, of which it's around this point here. So it's still okay for us to look for those uh, short term sales. And then let's look at the four hour chart. So on the four hour chart, uh, let's see, let's check, let's check. So let's just uh, put our analysis correctly so that we can just uh, see where the market is going. So as you can see on this area here, as I said, we can see this area as a left shoulder hit and then we have this as our right shoulder of which it's a bit corrective for me to take, but uh, I'll just remove this ray line just because it's no longer in use. And then at the top of the structure, what I'll do is that I'll just cater for this point here. And then we have an ascending within an ascending of which it's a high probability setup for us. And then at the top of the structure, we're just going to put a ray line just because the market can just push to the upside, create a double top before selling off around that point. So on the hour chart, that is where we can look for those uh, anticipations of where the market will go, how we're going to take the trade. And then this is the area. So let me just do this. So as you can see, we are still correcting in this point here. So initially, what I'll be expecting is for the market to clearly give us a double top in a form of a mass psychology activation. And then we get that push to the downside first tight flag at the top of the structure of which this would be a nice setup for us to take and then we have the tight flag and then the cell is just a few pips below the stop loss can be just above this area just because most of the time what we get in that mass psychology activation at the top of the structure is a one hour retracement candle so if we get that we can just use that area as our stop loss and then we are targeting this as our first target Second target on the third touch. And then as we all know, we aim to swing each and every trade that we take. So we aim to swing it just up until the 90% for about 17% all in all. So that is it for today's video. And then before I forget, and then before we close off, uh, the last uh, scenario that we can have around this point for this week is this one here. As you can see, we are very close to this. Uh, area here let me switch to a four hour time frame so that you can see it so this is the area that we can initially look forward to getting like those cells just because we are very close so we can target this area instead of this one for the week and then if that does not happen and then we get like a push to the upside then next week we can look forward to getting like those cells at the top of the structure around this point so that is it for today's video and then I'll see you on another one. Drop a comment of which uh, indices you're going to take for this week on these uh, that I shared today.